welcome to abhirishi channel today we're going to look at another paper which is uh, related to image processing astronomy astrophysics and uh, to um, some kind of new, uh, machine learning and so on so yeah this is a paper um, uh, like four five months old paper i i had uh, i had read the paper when it was released in november but i forgot to make a review about it so yeah, this uh, this is a paper 4c uh, a gan based algorithm for extending a CMB foreground models to sub degree angular uh, scales. So GAN is a generative adversarial networks. Uh, it's an algorithm um, which has a, uh, it works on a discrim, there are two networks competing against each other, which we'll see uh, in the paper it explains. So there is the discriminator and the generator. There are two uh, um, networks. And CMB is cosmic micro background. So uh, it's a very, very faint microwave radiation that we see in the night sky. Uh, we do not see it naked eye. It's a microwave radiation. So we need some special radio telescopes and then we see. Now the paper is about 4C algorithm. The 4C is foreground scale extender. So th this is a package that they have written in Py Python and it uh, overcomes the limitations in diffuse galactic radiations. So the problems that they had in Diffuse galactic radiation, it's a problem in CMB. I, I wouldn't get in the details of it, it's too technical. So, um, so yeah, the basic thing, the, this scale extractor, it uses GAN network to reproduce these complex features and uh, it simulates realistic and non-Gaussian foreground radiation at sub uh, degree. So at a very precise uh, scale, CMB is very far away light. We need a very precise scale. And we want to predict this foreground radiation and we want to simulate it. So uh, yeah, it, it helps. So the main aim of devising such kind of algorithm as 4C is to be able to um, uh, estimate foreground contamination uh, to lensing construction. This kind of some kind of uh, uh, this all kind of uh, important task in CMB experiments. So first task is about a foreground contamination to lensing reconstruction. Second is uh, D lensing and uh, primordial B modes and so on. So yeah, without further ado, we'll get into uh, this uh, paper. So it talks first about CMB when it was detected in 1965. Um, and the story is very funny. There was two people, uh, engineers I think, and they were tuning a uh, television and then they couldn't get rid of the uh, television, no channel kind of noise you get. And then they realized that that was nothing but they were capturing some microwave from the night, uh, the sky. And that was CMB's first stress. So um, after that, people have gotten very serious of it, uh, with it. And um, there is a lot of stuff that people do. So yeah, uh, after 2018, so after 2018, uh, CMB observations became more detailed. So they were dedicated ground-based uh, experiments. Uh, and also some satellites and they observe this kind of signal which is CMB polarized signal um, so it's basically uh, yeah so what exactly happens is the CMB gets linearly polarized so it's coming like traveling billions of light years it's so much distance it's traveling and it's uh, scattering in the primordial universe so the early universe there is a lot of uh, scattering ha happening there and as a result we get this kind of a uh, signal that we want to study so yeah, without uh, i'll just uh, link the paper in the description you you can um, go in detail so there are some things which you can always take out from the signal so from for the cmb signal it's primordial b mode so that is this one important thing of uh, uh, this um, uh, cmb that you can try to get out of it so yeah, uh, now we uh, there are some experiments that were designed since 1965 and since 2018 there are uh, more um, things that are going and in the future also there are some experiments planned out. So there is a Japan uh, Aerospace Agency which are planning to uh, see at very large angular scales with full coverage and that's a future project in the next decade and so on. So yeah, CMB is a very interesting field. Um, I, even I, I like to see. Uh, the new developments in this field so yeah now it comes to the problem the problem of galactic contamination to CMB observation that's the first problem that we discuss so um, so the state of the art uh, the current knowledge sorry 
uh, to about this is uh, at low frequencies 70 gigahertz uh, synchrotron um, what we see is the uh, the galactic magnetic field is the major source of radiations that we observe so whenever you see the night sky uh, at a very specific frequency you get some signals but if you are just seeing a whole spectrum you want to study the characteristics then there can be mixed signals so that's why you want to eliminate that out you want to get the exact template that you are exactly looking for so this is one thing that's the gal galaxy uh, magnetic fields that can ca uh, cause some kind of hindrance so yeah uh, yeah uh, not getting into details about this uh, so yeah now that's why people construct foreground models so this is where the mathematics comes so you take the cmb signal but then after that you have to do uh, mathematics to uh, it so that is where you uh, come to this um, f uh, developing foreground models and uh, this is where people have used uh, the Planck sky model that's a very popular one and they have also made a python uh, documentation about it so i'll just quickly go through it so this generates the uh, full sky simulation of galactic foregrounds and uh, polarization relevant for cmb experiment so uh, not getting into the complete details about what this package is but yeah th this is a very interesting python tool that these people have uh, created it's a package most probably and uh, there are some functions notable functions that you can see so there is cmb map cmb lens map distribution and uh, so on so dust and all that so there are all these functions they have programmed it in such kind of inheritance so they are they have made functions, sub function and so on for all these functions. So it's like a complete uh, module that you can say for uh, this uh, application, full sky uh, application and getting the CMB polarized uh, things that we want. Now coming to the algorithm, the 4C algorithm. So it uses neural network that is GAN network. And we'll just quickly see the architecture of this network. So the architecture looks something like this. So there is generator and there is discriminator. Um, so basically the input is a um, 320 by 320 pixel uh, night sky thing and um, this is so basically in the, it's a patch uh, the night sky is not 322 pixels but one patch of it is taken out and then we use uh, this uh, kernel that's a very small uh, thing red thing that we have the kernel and uh, that, that is a 5 by 5 kernel and then we try to use uh, Kera. they have used Keras and in Keras they have use GAN uh, function and uh, they trained uh, uh, then they tried to write some loss function uh, use some parameters so that they use the Adam optimizer which is very popular in machine learning very very good uh, concept um, it's a very very uh, good uh, way of designing loss function they also kept a learning rate very very low which is 0 0.002 and uh, they did it on mini batches and yeah and so on so before going to the results of this uh, training procedure that they did on the data set foreground data set we'll see the application to thermal dust emission so this is what they are looking into okay i do not want to go completely into detail but yeah this is uh, they are trying to see uh, what exactly they are trying to achieve using the algorithm like what kind of things that they want to extract useful information so we see on the in input left column and right column uh, so this is when the 4c algorithm is applied uh, so we see this is the input and this is the output so basically uh, this is the the middle is um, the shows the small scale features that we want to preserve so basically it, it removes whatever things that we do not want and tries to uh, have the useful information in the background so yeah there is some things that they have designed this is minskowski functionals uh, as a function of threshold yeah so yeah total intensity dust map again i do not want to go get into the details um yeah but okay they use 350 patches for the gan algorithm and uh, they got a useful output so this is i guess the output and um, they are doing it at sub angular level so that's why they are also measuring uh, angle uh, while they are seeing the output yeah 
so yeah lots of results you can uh, the paper will be linked you can see what exactly happens so they are also trying to model this non gaussian and yeah gaussian realization and so on so a lot of things in this dust emission uh, study and this is uh, this cmb map if you see this is the entire uh, not the entire universe in its actual shape but uh, whichever uh, observatories on the earth we have we uh, if you want to see at very very small angles the entire night sky we kind of have this kind of a map and from this we get the cmb foreground so this is where we try to do all this uh, signal we try to get all the signal and then after that we have to do uh, model we have to do the modeling so yeah finally uh, uh, we just come down to the conclusion so basically um, the the people uh, the results that they achieve we'll try and see first um, yeah the results that they achieve is that uh, they obtained um, yeah so they so they obtained the uh, dust uh, thermal dust stokes q and u ma map and they just outsource outsource it and then um, yeah they showed that okay uh, they are getting this uh, they are able they are able to see simulate uh, realistic and non gaussian foreground radiations so that was the uh, final result of this paper so i hope um, uh, like you got interested in this interest topic and you will check out the algorithm and uh, stay tuned of, uh, to aburishi if you want to learn more about image processing machine learning and astronomy astrophysics yeah thank you for watching